if you look at different role from a different perspective, like how the data flow, it flows like for data infrastructure engineer, they take care of the data from very beginning. That's the bottom of the different data source. So you might have data in the logs and the data is coming. So the logs is generated real time um, when, when user interact with your product. So the data coming in real time and you will have to get that data in real time. You have to decide how to capture it. You can just zip the data every one hour or two hour and put it in some storage. You want to make sure the data coming in and you keep the data without error, without missing anything. So that's actually a difficult problem if you have many different data sources, always online, real time, and you don't want to miss anything. Um, that's very um, deep engineering skill involved. So that's what data infrastructure engineer is to direct and to design all of those how data coming in. Once the data coming in different data source, you might have data in like S3s and um, in MongoDB. Um, and also you have data from API. And then how you get all the data together, data engineer is the one who get all the data from different source, build up API, you get data from Google Analytics, you get data from S3 that's already zipped, um, batched data every two hour, you get data in, uh, and if it's unstructured, you probably need to parse it to structuralize it and build this internal schema. And this data, so the data from the original source, the data infrastructure engineer handle is very real time, high frequency. And when it gets to internal schema, the frequency is lower, but still quite high. Um, the, the amount is huge. So there will be a lot of uh, huge amount of data. And, and also it's more structured than original source. When you get internal schema, sometimes the data is structuralized. And then you go step further to build conceptual schemas. Conceptual schema is those schema that is normalized. So it has pretty columns and rows and with specific like foreign key and primary key, you know, you would have a schema to know how to join table together to get the, the result you want. So that's the schema most of the data scientists and data analysts are gonna work on um, for their analytical projects. Sometimes if the data is not in the conceptual schema, um, data scientists will, will sometimes also use internal schema, but ideally it will be a clean version of conceptual schema that for data scientists to use. And then for BI engineer, uh, they actually will build external schema. That's the further aggregated data um, to build dashboard. So BI engineer will, or BI engineer will work uh, on that level. Um, so, and for machine learning engineer, actually machine learning engineer probably will work all the way. Uh, that's why it's very hard to find a good machine learning engineer because you don't always want to eventually deploy in a pretty format um, with a dashboard, some type of user interface. You also need to get data from the very beginning all the way flow to the top. 